here we have a cow moose coming in, checking it out. And there's my little invention, and uh, it uh, worked out that uh, bear come in, and uh, it was a little too high. The way the tree has a little crook to it, and the ground's a little lower on the lower side, so I eventually moved it down just a bit, um, so they could reach it a little bit better. I'm going to put up another video here of uh, some cow and a couple of calves here at the brush because they're just so obsessed with it and I didn't have any salt look here I, you know, at the time and uh, there was nothing really to keep them here. I, I get, did have one here originally. I had it fastened up in, high in a tree so they could reach it but it didn't stay there. I had it ratchet strap there the salt and it basically just melted and fell off so it didn't work just another experiment but uh, I eventually put a salt block here and I've got some videos of some moose at the salt block but at this point time right here I didn't have it there I know this video is a little long here, but it's just I wanted to put this in, show this cow here, rather than just put it as a separate video. I'm not sure why she doesn't have any calves, whether, you know, I don't, it may be a two-year-old, I mean, she, the yearling last fall and just probably didn't get, get bred, maybe. She's a little bigger than a yearling here, so her nose is quite long, I think she's a two-year-old. And I think they usually don't breed till two years old anyway, so it would be this fall. She's a big cow, though. And she's got the little bites on her legs there you can see from the flies. There's these little flies that follow them around and they'll chew on their legs. And then some of the other bigger horse flies keep at the wounds and the legs will get chewed up pretty bad. Okay, so uh, that was just a clip of a cow moose that I used in a, another video, my bear scratcher experiment video, and uh, I never really used it in a moose, specifically a moose video, so I had some other clips here I just had left over that I didn't use as a cow here and a calf. And there was another bull video here that just kind of wanted to use them. I don't have uh, much uh, access to moose footage right now in the winter, so until spring. So uh, just going through some old videos and seeing what I've got to use. I like to just keep editing, just uh, something to do. I enjoy editing, so. And a few deer that I had coming here to the salt lick. I didn't have the salt lick out all the time. I had uh, tried it there in a tree and it didn't work and I brought a block out. And, and uh, But it was kind of late when I got it out there. And uh, I usually take them up in hunting season so. I usually do uh, most of my videotaping before deer season. And, I don't uh, spend any time in the woods then, and I don't hunt anymore. And don't, you know, I just uh, kind of don't want to get in a hunter's way, and uh, and uh, I just don't like to have them out there in deer season. You know, uh, kind of bunching them up, so it's just kind of a summer thing. I 
I don't really like using them really, but uh, it just uh, you know gives a little bit better chance to get some footage with a camera. And the brush was just uh, an idea I had to keep the bears from bothering my camera because they uh, they like to play with it. And if you watch the bear scratcher video, it's kind of cute. There, I actually had two different videos. One was showing some bears attacking the camera and then uh, that was a longer video and then uh, recently I just put a short one on. I didn't get a lot of activity around the brush but uh, I didn't get a lot of bears this summer at the cameras, a few, but but they, uh, they could be really rough on them. I have to actually put a strap around my camera and screw it to the tree besides the regular strap just to keep them from, uh, you know, tearing them off the tree and mainly they'll turn them right and left and then they won't be facing the right direction so so it works pretty good I just uh, put a couple of small screws uh, hex head screws uh, roofing screws actually and a piece of strap and put it right around the front of the camera and screw it on either side and they can't really move the camera they can still destroy the camera if they want to but you know I've had them rip the cameras off the tree and then drag them around so, uh, makes me uh, miss fall just watching this. It's so beautiful up in the woods in the fall. I had a tree stand right here and I sat there, only, only sat in it a couple of days, uh, just kind of moving around here and there. Had two stands up in different spots. And, and uh, I didn't have any moose come in here or, or deer when I was in the stand, but uh, kind of spooked them putting it up, I think. A little too close to my salt location here. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Later.